got a unit here, it's a train. Let me give you a model number so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's got a two, I believe. They're 144 Z something, not too sure. They're 12 ton compressors. Give you a outside look at the unit, train unit. Don't really like this unit much because every time you need to service something, you got to get underneath this this duct here, really compact area, very tight. But uh, there is a new compressor put in here, not too long ago, by someone. This is a brand new one, and uh, and this contactor won't pull in. So I'm in the process. I'm remove the, the two wires. Go into the contactor, here's one. And uh, where's the other one? Let me find it real quick. All right guys, so here's the other two wires. The black one is a common, and the white one is the 24. Strange, but that's the way it is. Normally it's the other way around. So uh, I'm gonna connect my uh, meters on it, and let's see what we have. All right guys, so I got my meters connected. Six volts, but this contactor won't pull in. Any idea why? What do you see right there? Coil 208 240, and that's the problem. That's why this unit, the second circuit, is not going on, it's not coming on. Voltage there. Go ahead and replace it with the new contact I have here, which is 24, and that's what should be in there. So, meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these leads. These, uh, this is the compressor wire coming into the contactor. Oh, I guess I don't listen to it too much. Notice here they got aluminum wiring going to the compressor. I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan. Power's off. I tested it. Everything is off. I have no power coming in. So I'll put that back in later. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove these, this red and white wire. This is what powers the transformer. Okay. I'll go ahead and remove those. Funny setup here, but and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the line line coming in. I don't know why this uh, phone won't focus. Maybe I need to put it on auto for focus focus. Cool unit. Everything I pretty much work on is water cooled pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my uh, El School Driver Tito and I will go ahead and if I can get there. Probably not. Okay. I'll go ahead and move this. Who's here holding the contactor? I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I'll show you guys around this, this unit. Put the new one in, the circuit's replaced. Um, I'm 
wait for it to come on. I'm just gonna double check everything. So, and also check this out. They got the sensor here. Should be sensing from the gym. However, it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this wire to the return here. I'm gonna cut a hole, cut a hole here, put in this access door, and just run that wire right in there. This way, you can sense the return air coming back, so it'll cycle on and off. Okay. So, other, everything here is all train units. Train unit here. Port, they're all everything in this. Majority of the stuff in the city is water source, heat pumps, or just straight cooling. This is one of the many mechanical rooms here in this building. Compressor one kicked in. Originally, it wasn't coming on because the contact to coil. So control wire, control voltage is, like I said, is 24, and the contact to that was installed. So right now she's on. Both circuits are running, running good. <laughs> I mean, shit happens, but I guess the guy never really checked to see if the unit was coming on or not. He just put it in and left. So it's always uh, good to double check things, you know.